good morning, guys, on this good Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. Gracie and I were just working on our activities that I'm going to be telling you all about after I get through giving you all a short little lesson. Um, today is Good Friday, and our scripture is Luke 23, verses 44 through 46. It was now about noon, and darkness covered the whole earth until about 3 o'clock. While the sun stopped shining, then the curtain in the sanctuary tore down in the middle. Crying out in a loud voice, Jesus said, Father, into your hands I entrust my life. After he said this, he breathed for the last time. Okay, guys, it's been less than a week since the crowds welcomed Jesus into Jerusalem with the big parade. Remember the palms and everybody was so excited that the king was coming? Now the crowds are angry. Some people thought Jesus was a liar. The highest priest did not like that he called himself the son of God. And the Roman leaders were scared that the people thought of him as a king. Jesus was put on trial and sentenced to die on the cross. Jesus could have stopped the people who wanted to kill him, but he didn't. Instead, he gave himself up for all the people in the world out of love for all of us. While Jesus was suffering on the cross and when he died, his family and the disciples were all very sad. It's okay for us to be sad today too, as we remember how Jesus died. But even in our sadness, we can have hope that God is always good, even in the worst situations like the situations that we're going through now with the staying at home and the virus and everything, we can always have hope in God. Though all appears bad on this day, our hope is a reason why we call this day as Good Friday. So it is a Good Friday because today is the day that Jesus died on the cross and forever changed the world for us. He died on that cross so that we could live forever. What an amazing thing that is, that he gave his life for us. So as he gave his life for us, we should think about that as what he gave up for us. How, if he did that for us, why can't we go and do serve others and do things for others and forgive others? We always need to remember that he, if he died for us, why shouldn't we go and do for others? Serve one another. So let's also remember that on this Good Friday as we reflect on this. So y'all's activity today, which Gracie and I are doing, get a piece of paper. Put some, any, we had some painter's tape, so we put some painter's tape down. Uh, and then just color pencil, marker, or whatever you have. Color across it. And then you can take your tape off and then you'll have a beautiful cross in the middle. And what I'm going to do is once I take my paint off and I have my cross in the middle, I'm going to write hope. So we'll always remember to have hope in God. Okay, um, before I close with our prayer, I wanted to give some of our kids um, a shout out for doing their Bible verses and sending them to me. Um, thank you, Maddie. Beckman, thank you, Maria Reed. Thank you, Maddie Kimball. Uh, we got, we're gonna be releasing another one tonight, so I'm not gonna tell y'all who that is. It's gonna be a surprise. Also, thank you, Abigail Haar and Dalton Haar and Joshua D. Esposito for posting, um, sending me your pictures of your son and the cross. Um, we posted those on Facebook. I hope all of you guys are doing well. I can't wait to see you again soon. So we're gonna close with a little prayer. Okay, everybody bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for your love and thank you for Jesus. Help us to remember that Jesus died upon a cross many years ago for all of us. We are sad, yet we know that you are with us no matter how we feel. Thank you that your love for us is stronger than death. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Okay guys, see you tomorrow.